Guys, Eminem died a while ago and the guy currently posing as Eminem is actually a very advanced robot. At least that's what the latest viral conspiracy theory claims. Honestly, will the real Slim Shady please just stand up or whatever? Or at least like let us know if he's a robot? Or whatever. What is good? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and hit that subscribe for a different take on daily news. And why don't you turn on those notifications so you're one of the first to know when we upload videos? I will be replying to the first comments when our videos go up, so there's some incentive for ya. Ooh, a reply from Charlotte. Ooh, my day is made. You guys are cute. The internet gives birth to many a weird thing, and the latest spawn of the internet is a conspiracy theory that Eminem died and was replaced by a robot. People are saying this is an explanation for why they feel Eminem's music has gotten a lot worse over recent years. I mean, I'm I'm not like a diehard fan of Eminem, but he was pretty iconic back in the early 2000s, and then he sort of like fell off the map for a little bit until the recent drop of his album Kamikaze, which is a great album. Great. Loved it. Loved every minute. But I guess some fans of Eminem think the only reasonable explanation for his downfall might be that he's actually a robot. That, and I guess he does look pretty different. So here's how this conspiracy theory came about. In 2005, Eminem checked into a rehab facility because of his addiction to sleeping pills. The theory is somewhere around 2006, about a year after he checked into the rehab facility, while Eminem was in his prime, he overdosed. And he died from this overdose. Eminem was making the music industry a ton of money at the time, so instead of announcing his death, he was either replaced by a person that looks just like him or by an android robot so that the music industry could continue profiting off his music. There are conspiracy theories that Eminem was replaced that go back all the way to 1999. The conspiracy theory reportedly comes from the French website La Guia del Veron. There are also several videos on YouTube that provide evidence that Eminem was replaced by a clone or by a robot. So what proof exactly do they provide that the Eminem we know is actually a fraud? They shared images of Eminem before he was replaced by an android. Then they showed a recent picture of Eminem. I mean, like, the photo was taken at a pretty awkward time, but I don't really see the robot thing. Yeah, maybe he's aged. Like, it's been like 15 years, so like, that's normal. People usually age after 15 years. Yeah, he's lost some weight. I feel like he might be wearing makeup in this photo as well, which is a little weird, but like, come on. A robot? Hell no. The rest of the evidence points out differences in Eminem's facial structure, ear shape, and his gaze. I'm not really sure why a gaze is evidence that he's a robot. Maybe he's just died inside. Now let's just like, let's just think about this for just a second, just a quick second. This is the early 2000s we're talking about. We are just getting to the point where we can create somewhat lifelike robots, but they are creepy as hell. Have you seen those things? You can completely tell that they're robots. Like I'm looking at those things and I'm like, it's hard to imagine that a robot could pass for a human being even with today's technology, let alone in 2006. Like maybe in the future we won't be able to tell the difference between humans and robots, like Westworld sort of. But right now we, we definitely can. I'm not buying it, guys. Plus, didn't Eminem really want us to believe that he was the real Slim Shady around the year 2000? Maybe it was a little hint? Conspiracy theories that famous musicians have died and been replaced go back decades. One of my favorites is the Paul is Dead conspiracy theory, where Beatles fans were convinced that Paul McCartney had passed away and was replaced by a man named Billy Shears. Paul is Dead theories have been around since 1966, and fans have used clues found on album covers to support their theories. For example, on the Abbey Road album cover, Paul is the only Beatle without shoes on, somewhat suggesting that he could be a corpse or that he's just not wearing shoes. On the Sgt. Pepper's album, Paul is the only Beatle holding a black instrument. The awesome thing is the Beatles actually played into this fan theory, and were actually rumored to have fueled the fire of the conspiracy theories with their album covers. A lot of them have little hints about Paul being dead, but he's not, he's not dead guys. He's, that's, that's a conspiracy theory, it's not true. <laughs> Paul is dead isn't the only musician death conspiracy theory. Avril Lavigne was also rumored to have died and be replaced by a best friend lookalike called Melissa. Miley Cyrus supposedly died in 2010 and was replaced by her body double. And even Beyonce and Britney Spears have been supposedly replaced by clones. Anyways guys, the real reason why we didn't hear much from Eminem in the mid-2000s is because he recently revealed that he had writer's block for four years. So that's the explanation that we're gonna give. Alright guys, that's all I have for you on that story. What do you think? Is Eminem a robot? Let us know in those comments. But for now, I'm gonna respond to some of your comments from previous videos. Antoine Brown said, Hi, I'm watching from school. Big fan Antoine. Thanks Antoine. How's, uh, how's school doing? You gonna get an A? Yeah. The Zombie Slayer said, you said you would reply to the first few comments, so hi. Hi. I did say that. Hello, Zombie Slayer. How many zombies have you slayed today? Nina Hurtle said, I like pizza. What about you? I 
I would say that I do like pizza quite a lot. I uh, I don't like Hawaiian pizza, but I am down for a deluxe here and there. Red Fox Dark Fortnite said, "Hey, I followed you on Instagram and take a selfie with an asteroid." I mean, I would love to take a selfie with an asteroid, but one hasn't gotten close enough to Earth, and if it did, I probably wouldn't be able to upload it before it hit the Earth. The Potato Librarian said, first potato. Charlotte, can you bring back Halloween this year?" I will think about it. It means I have to buy a costume, but I feel like my mermaid costume is still kicking around here somewhere. The video is over. Thanks for watching. To keep watching, check out this playlist right over here. And if you enjoyed your time here, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.